know it's been a while since I posted a video or maybe a week or two um, but I am this morning since it's a Saturday I'm not out on a run I've been pretty busy with runs but uh, now that it's Saturday I don't have too many of those coming up or generally I don't get a call for it so uh, I'm gonna get in here into the engine bay I got project Bravo here it's now having a, a little knock to it so I'm gonna pull this thing all apart take the engine out and get ready for I'm either gonna try to find a new engine or new to me engine one that's running new and used um, although that's sketchy because sometimes they're good when you buy them off the Facebook marketplace and stuff like that and sometimes they're bad so it's just a matter of you know getting into it but I'm not gonna show a lot of the details of pulling everything off because for Project Bravo I've already done a lot of videos of taking the head off and all that stuff so what I'm going to do is I am going to take everything off and then get down to the point where we, uh, where I've never been with Project Bravo. I've done it with Project Alpha, but I didn't get into like a lot of detail on it, but, and it's been a while. I'm trying to think of when I did Project Alphas. Uh, it, it's been an extremely long time. So I'm going to get in here. Uh, remove the engine and I'll get into detail of when I, once I get to the engine block and what to remove and the bolts because not only do you have the bell housing bolts you have the flywheel bolts and then uh, or flex plate just depending on what you whether you have a manual or but it's basically the same part but there are, I want to say there are four maybe five or six I can't remember how many bolts on the flywheel um, or in this case it's the flex plate because it's an automatic but uh, yeah let's dig into it no, just okay. if I get a membership I'm gonna start it all right this tell me what I did wrong Because, I, I don't know, did I not torque them enough? But, yeah, that's not supposed to be like that. Alright, so I did go a little bit further than I've ever had this. And I removed the AC compressor mount. I removed the alternator and its mount and everything. Um definitely can tell that this engine has been redone before because if you look at and it's pretty either corroded or somebody tried putting a nut on there that doesn't belong and the nut that they had on there was this which is not doesn't isn't the nut that comes with this so and it looks pretty tore up itself this is the nut right here that it should come with there's one just like this that's the nut it should come with with this little bell on it so just a, a sign that this engine's been messed with before everything's been torn apart and uh, I just want to make mention to that there's hardly any wear on any of this but unfortunately but unfortunately so for some reason this did this to my rods or my rod did that I can't even get the rod out of it it's I could probably pry it out but then I damage the rod so I just better just to get new new rods 
Now this only happened to two of them. It was on cylinder two and three. And I want to say it was the, shoot, looking at it. Looks like the exhaust stroke is where it was happening because I believe these are the exhaust strokes. So I either, so I either had them torqued too much or not enough and it punched itself through. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, let me know on that because I've never seen anything like that before. Uh, but I don't know if it's common. It's not common to me on any of the Jeeps that I've owned before. So I'm going to stop for the night here and then in the morning I'm going to get more in depth with the rest of this and have the camera on and everything because we're going to get back here and start removing uh, bolts because it's like you can look at a, a, a dirt, dirt and oil is like caked on the engine and caked back there. All right, so got if you noticed from I think I posted before so I've got this issue right here but looking at them I've ordered some crown uh, automotive what am I trying to say here so I've showed you this all right so I've ordered some Crown Automotive. I, I haven't gone any further on this than it's, I mean, it's been almost a week uh, since the last part of this video, since I've done anything to this, but I did order some Crown Automotive replacements and I, I got the rods too. And I'm looking at this, like this just looks like stamped steel. So I put on a Facebook group for 4.0 engines asking if anybody's ever seen anything like this and of course people have and coming to find out a lot of the cheap shit off of Amazon does this like they're just stamped steel they're not like uh, I don't know anything about the steel industry but apparently there's a way of heating this up to make it stronger during the process and these aren't done like that so on the crown automotive ones they're different color they still look like the stamp steel but it does look like they were heated at one time so i'm going to get all replacements from crown automotive and because I, I don't know a lot of people might not like crown automotive but i i like them uh, I haven't had too many issues with them. So I think they're more reputable than a lot of the other ones that are out there. So and that being said, uh, I, there another issue that I've mentioned in previous videos is that uh, I've had low pre oil pressure on this engine. So I've already ordered the new oil filter, or oil filter, the new oil pump, and it's a Mellings that I got from O'Reilly's. O'Reilly sells it. Amazon also sells it for cheaper than O'Reilly's, but I was in there and I figured I might as well just get it so I can have it on hand. And uh, so I'm gonna replace that as well because if the pump was out and there's no oil getting up here, uh, then that can also cause this problem. So that being fixed, I'll replace them all. Obviously the rocker part of them, uh, or the brackets, I'll still use. Um, and, but I'm still gonna pull this engine out to do it. It's just easier to work on. All right, so I'm gonna finish. This is the end of this particular video on it. And I'm uh, gonna do a, uh, another project I hope will be a lot quicker and uh, then I'll come back to this. So I'll see you guys in the next video.